Hi, my name is Ben Aldridge and I'm in two films, one with uh, Jonathan Groff and one with Jim Parsons. I play the love interest of both of them in, in the separate films. <laughs> and I'm going to work out how well I know them along with Attitude. Who's taller? Definitely Jim Parsons. Was there a big difference in their approaches to the acting process? They're, they're such different films. Like Jim and I had a, it's a real life situation, it's a memoir. Um, and uh, there was so much material for us to get hold of. And then actually uh, the film uh, Knock at the Cabin is also a, a book, but it's a fictional book. And it was just so intense and horrific and we were in one, one location for most of it. And yeah, I mean, similar but different. I don't, I, it, it was all about the genre and not about the process really, I think. Which one claims they've never seen Star Trek? Jim Parsons. Meaning us the Death Star from Star Trek. <laughs> Correct, well done. <laughs> is there a franchise that you see yourself joining in the future? Open to it. Um, I mean, if they do another Matrix film, hell yes. Um, I think that would be my pick, sure. Who was on the cover of Attitude first? I think, I, re I reckon Jonathan was on the cover of Attitude first. Correct. Yes! <laughs> Whose middle name is Joseph? I'm pretty sure, I think it's Jim. Correct. That's good. <laughs> who portrayed the King of England on stage? Um, who portrayed the King, portrayed, not betrayed, although maybe both. Um, the King of England on stage, it was Jonathan Groff in Hamilton. Is there a historical figure that you would like to portray one day? Oh, I mean, historical figure. I mean, I don't know the historical figure, but I would love to do a biopic about George Michael. George Michael because of his uh, music and because um, and because I sing and would love to sing that and also because I think there's a really, really interesting story in there. I think the documentary that came out probably about three or four years ago I thought was really fascinating. I think there's a lot of, well, there was a lot of drama in his life, but also there was a lot of like hidden life as well. Um, I think that could be a, a brilliant, brilliant film. Which one lives in Robert Pattinson's old house? He doesn't anymore, but Jim Parsons <laughs> did live there in LA. He no longer lives there, he sold it. But yeah. God, you're showing us up. Has a beautiful <laughs> garden in the back. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't even been there, but I know that. Which one is friends with Rihanna? Now, they both possibly might be friends with Rihanna, although I definitely know Jim is friends with Rihanna because he did an animated film with her where he voiced a character with her and like did a press tour with her, but I don't think they met until the press tour. Um, I'm sounding like I'm obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> I am obsessed with both Jonathan Groff and Jim Parsons. <laughs> you are obviously correct again. Um, <laughs> is there a pop diva that you would like to be besties with? Without doubt, Beyonce. I think I'd want to be besties with her. Well, they, they do say don't meet your heroes. Yeah, sure, I, I, I want to be besties with her, yeah. And why Beyonce? I mean, <laughs> I can't even answer it. Um, yeah, she is, yeah. I, I don't think it needs an answer. <laughs> Which out of the two of them has appeared in 15 failed TV pilots? That is a total rumor and it's not true, but it is about Jim Parsons. And I know that because my dad texted me that and he was like, you'll have to talk to Jim about his 15 failed pilots because I've had a few fell parts. <laughs> um, and asked Jim and he was like, that's bullshit, no, that's real. Which one of them isn't Aries? They are both Aries. Oh my God, <laughs> fucking fuming. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> um, what was it like playing romantic leads with the two actors? Oh, it was, the, it was the best thing ever. I honestly feel they're two of the like kindest, funnest, most thoughtful people you could hope to know. And uh, yeah, working with them was just, it was so nice and they're both such good actors and they're both really relaxed and like welcoming people they're, they're, and, they, and, they, and they really love it as well. They both really, I mean, every actor loves acting, but like they really, um, yeah, they really enjoy what they do. It was just, it was the best experience with both of them. Which one of them has been in more films? I'm unsure, but I'm gonna say, because Jim did like 12 seasons of Big Bang Theory. I'm gonna say Jonathan will probably have more time to be in more films, although Jim's older. I'm gonna go with Jonathan. Incorrect. Ah! It, was... <laughs> it was Jim. Oh shit, I should have gone with, yeah, okay, right, right, right. right.